So here we have an occupied burrow. Uh, there's actually an owl in there right now looking at us. Uh, this is one of the actual, there's a pair that was living here and actually fledged young that we saw. The young actually came out uh, in August, uh, within the second week in August that we noticed them uh, coming out of the burrows. I haven't seen them uh, lately, but they were also part of a number of pairs that were breeding here. And as you can see, here's the erosion control fabric and all along the sidewalk, there were burrows uh, within this tw uh, 15 to 20 foot section that's now covered as well as underneath the sidewalk. So once this erosion control fabric went in uh, in mid-July, it effectively covered up all these burrows uh, and the potentially any eggs, young or adult owls that actually were still inside. So any eggs that uh, were left had to be abandoned uh, in the name of this fabric control that when it was put down. Uh, they should have had a biologist out here before doing this, but what they did is the biologist came and stepped foot on this property after this erosion control fabric. Actually, the report was generated on the 26th, so I think it was uh, July 22nd or 24th when the actual sighting was done. Uh, but they said that there were actually no breeding pairs here and no signs of young, and actually they said that the sign, all signs of burrowing owls were... Uh, were pretty much absent in that the uh, the owls were just recently came to this site after the the weeds were uh, mowed but we have uh, video and we've been monitoring them since February in this particular area even when the grass was six feet tall with or the the weeds and the mustard were six feet tall the owls were still living on the uh, adjacent to the sidewalk and inside this property So here's one spot where we are watching a pair uh, during breeding season. That pair was actually here since February when a neighbor first alerted us to the presence of owls on this site. You can see a lot of whitewash on this. Uh, looks like almost like a PG&E or uh, grate or grade here uh, that was, you know, where an owl was. We watched the male routinely sit here and monitor things. And unfortunately, this landscape fabric that was put in in mid-July covered up the burrow that was that was actually at this particular site. The landscape fabric was uh, put down uh, and staked down actually. But if we go ahead and lift this up, you can actually see, it's a little difficult because of the way that the sun is, so I'll go ahead and shift positions. But you can actually see that there are pellets and feathers here of this burrow. And unfortunately, you know, what the biologist that was hired to do this survey uh, did not see any activity such as pellets and, and things out here. So this is definitely a problem uh, during the breeding season uh, as we don't know if there were any eggs or young that were actually in this, this burrow uh, after, you know, after it was covered that they couldn't get out and the adults uh, would be forced to leave or abandon their young and their eggs.